guys welcome back to my channel and uh, please ignore my hair <laughs> we are here to cook <laughs> we are not here for beauty <laughs> yeah so you guys i have um i don't know if you guys can see uh pepe pepe mix that's tomatoes and pepe you know and chicken that i got since last week but i've not really had the time to prepare it and uh i have spinach here for a little vegetable uh, mix and then I bought rice and spaghetti because I like to cook in bulk so that all I'll be doing is just you know microwaving what I need and take something to work and have something to eat when I get back because sometimes I'll be really tired and no strength to prepare anything and it's not even that you want to eat conflicts. So um uh I like some of you know already I always um cook in bulk for the months and you know buy stops in work for the month and this is the second week of August. this should have been done last week but i had some other um, issues to attend to last week that made me very busy so i couldn't even cook i wasn't even in my house i was in my, in my friend's house you get so sorry for the long talk let's get right into the video all right guys uh before this video starts uh i would just like you guys to know that i did cook die like and they cook fire and they cook scatter <laughs> don't mind me guys so um yes yeah, me cleaning my chicken removing all the scales and feathers uh the chicken here in the uk has this weird taste so i like to use lemon and vinegar to you know do a final rinse off and probably thoroughly clean it to my satisfaction before proceeding to seasoning also guys i make sure that i cook on mondays then all my housemates would have gone to work and they won't have to be perceiving the sweet aroma of my food not like it's a problem but they've never complained actually but you know they are white people and they are very um they're not really used to this um you know smell and all of that so i just don't want to offend them i just do my thing on mondays when they're not around by the time they come back from work the smell should have you know lessened and all of that Okay, so this is just um, seasoning the chicken, the curry and thyme that you guys saw me um, put on the chicken was the curry and thyme I brought from Nigeria. <laughs> it finished on this day. It pained me, sure. <laughs> yeah, but at least there's curry and thyme over here, which I had already gotten. So, yeah. Uh, I put um, um, garlic paste and uh, ginger powder, curry thyme, seasoning onions and some pepper so um this um chicken i'm seasoning, seasoning in the pot is the one i want to boil while the other one in the bowl is the one i want to grill you guys get so i also want to mention that um this video is not me teaching you guys how to cook i'm just showing you how i do my thing and yeah so the same almost the same procedure for um the chicken i want to grill uh curry pepe um ginger garlic paste some salt maggi and honey oh my god you guys honey it's amazing that was an um, onion blended onion and pepe so you guys know how you want to um you know sometimes um eat some certain grilled chicken and then you'll be wondering that why is this chicken so sweet oh more now honey oh, you guys it's honey ever since i found out about that um trick it has been amazing trust me you guys so um, this is me layering the grill pan uh, I layer it three times because uh, you know it will be so hot there and I really want to avoid washing that grill pan <laughs> so <laughs> I layer it um, three times so I don't know if you guys noticed for the drumsticks I'm boiling it and for the wings I'm grilling it so for some reason the um, what was it called for the chicken over here in the uk grilling is is weird for the drumsticks so i have to boil it before grilling but for the um wings i don't have to boil i can just you know take it that way yeah so this is my stew base you guys um uh oil tomato paste blended pepper spicy tea i brought that from nigeria curry time and maggi i have granite oil there already i guess yeah so just leave it to boil so guys a friend of mine called me 
and I had to you know post the video for a while but in this part of the video I had finished with my stew and I was now making second base for my jollof rice and spaghetti that I, would, I was going to make also I couldn't make um, the vegetable with the spinach again I was so tired so I decided to make it the following day yeah, so the hot dog is for my spaghetti. I usually um put hot dog and some veggies in my jollof fries too, but I wanted the jollof fries to be plain and uh, put in more hot dog for my spaghetti. So this is me checking on my chicken. Spaghetti was okay, so I had to drain the water. Yeah, so um, normally I like my spaghetti to be very red. But in this case, I didn't want it to be too wet, so I didn't even use too much. That is me adding my veggies and um, the hot dog I had caught earlier. And you know, just give it a good mix. Yeah, added some extra veggies because it wasn't enough. And um, two sardines. Yeah. just giving it a good mix and I left it to simmer for a while and yeah it's ready so next to the rice wash my rice salt it uh, I have the chicken was almost ready so I had to turn them for the other parts to you know get grilled yep yeah so the rice was almost ready uh, added the remaining part of the stew base to the jello fries and some meat stock yep and also foil paper to you know preserve all the heat and moisture and this is me rewarding myself for a job well done <laughs> so as you guys know i live in a house here so you can't just um, cook and you know leave the kitchen and say oh when i'm tired when i'm rested i'll come back and wash some more you have to clean the kitchen you know, for the next person <laughs> So this is me you guys checking back on my rice you guys it was amazing like i said i did cook fire if you know you know <laughs> so um i put my food into little portions i take food to work so uh just you know put a sliding one chicken and off to work and that's in nigeria why won't you have an ice cream bowl to store your food are you, are you joking <laughs> So this is the finished product you guys um i don't have so much um small bowls that's why i have to keep the remnants in the bigger ice cream bowls i'm sure you'll be wondering why i have just one um bowl for stew that's because i don't eat much stew sorry i don't eat much white rice since i already have all of this so just that bowl is enough for the month yeah so um, i'm keeping my things in the fridge and uh, i store my chicken a ziplock bag then i take um the remaining food to the other fridge and yeah clean kitchen hope you enjoyed this video bye guys